Hello, welcome to my channel Crochet It Yourself. For this doily, I'll be using these two colors of yarn, and one ball of this yarn is 50 grams, and I'll be using about one and a half of this yarn and one and a half of this, and then I'll be using a crochet hook size three millimeters. We'll begin with making a slip knot, and then we will do 12 chains. That's my slip knot. One, two, three, four, five, six. 12. Now slip stitch into the first chain to join and form a ring like that. Now we will do 18 single crochets inside this ring to do a single crochet insert or crochet hook in the ring. Go for the yarn, pull through, go for the yarn again, pull through the two loops. That's your first single crochet. Now let's continue. One, two, Three, four, five, six, eighteen single crochets. Now I'll slip stitch into the first single crochet to join. Now I'll do three chains. These three chains will count as our first double crochet in this second round. Now, in the same space where we have done the slip stitch, we will do a double crochet. Now, we will do two double crochets in the next single crochet. One, two. Now, we will continue doing two double crochets into each single crochet. One, two, one, two. So continue like this until you get here. You will join with that slip stitch into this third chain. Insert your crochet hook in there and slip stitch and join and fasten off and cut yarn. Now you have your ring, that's how it should look like, with a total of 35 double crochets including the 3 chains, so you have 36. Now take your yarn needle and hide the yarn, and this is the right side and this is the wrong side. Make sure you have 47 chains. This loop doesn't count as a chain, this one on the hook. Now we will count. Four chains from the hook, one, two, three, four. In that fourth chain, we will do a double crochet. And then we will do two more double crochets inside the same space. So we have three double crochets and the three chains to make a set of four. Now we do four chains, one, two, three, four. Now we will skip five chains, one, two, three, four, five. In the sixth chain, we will do four double crochets inside that same space. One, two, three, Now we will do four chains again and then skip five chains one, two, three, four, five. In the sixth one, do another four double crochets one, three, four. Now repeat this process until you have seven of these shells. This one, two, three. I'll meet you there and then I'll show you what we need to do next.
now I have one two three four five six seven shells we still have these chains now you will do two chains you will skip two chains and in the third one you will do a double crochet and a double crochet in the next chain two chains and then you will skip two chains and in the last chain here you will do four double crochets two three four now we will do 22 chains one two three four five you will take your ring that you did and then in any of the double crochets on top insert your crochet hook and do a single crochet join like that now do 22 chains again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. You have to be careful now because you have to join into this part again and you have to turn your work. Turn your work this way and this is now the wrong side and turn your work also in the wrong side in this other side yarn over inside your crochet hook in the center and do four double crochets one two three four now you do two chains and Inside this two chain space, you will do two double crochets. One, two, and then you will do double crochets on top of the double crochets. Then two double crochets inside the two chain space. Two chains. Four double crochets in the center of the shell, the center of the four double crochets. Like this. Two chains. In the center of the four chain space, you will do a single crochet. Just insert your crochet hook in there and do a single crochet. Two chains and in the center of the four double crochets do four double crochets so continue now doing two chains a single crochet two chains four double crochets until you get to the end here now this is how it should look like now here at the corner you will do one chain and turn this way and then you will skip the first double crochet in the second double crochet you will slip stitch and then in the middle of the four double crochets there you will also do a slip stitch you will now do three chains one two three and do three double crochets inside that same space one two three now you will do two chains and do a single crochet on top of the single crochet that you did two chains and four double crochets in the center of the four double crochets So continue doing this 
pattern like this a single crochet two chains and four double crochets in the center of the previous four double crochets two chains and a single crochet on top of the single crochet so continue with this pattern until you get here I meet you there and we will continue now you will do two chains and inside the two chain space you will do two double crochets one two and then on top of the double crochets a double crochet each then two double crochets inside the two chain space two chains and four double crochets in the center of the previous four double crochets one two three four now your work should be looking like this now we will do 22 chains and we will come and join into the next double crochet here with a single crochet so do 22 chains and i'll meet you here so i have my 22 chains so the next one is this one insert your crochet hook in there and join with a single crochet like that do 22 chains again and we will come and continue with our pattern here you will always be turning this way and then do your four double crochets two three four two chains and you will continue in this two chain space you will be doing two double crochets then double crochet on top of the double crochets two double crochets in the two chain space two chains in the middle of the previous four double crochets you will be doing four double crochets and then here i'll show you how we do, you do this part then now we will do four chains two three four and then we will do four double crochets in the center of the previous four double crochets so continue now doing four double crochets and then four chains four double crochets until you get to the end here so this is how you should have your work looking like now at the corner we will do one chain again and turn and then a slip stitch into the second double crochet and then insert your crochet hook in the center and also do another slip stitch and then three chains then do three double crochets inside the same space chains now and then in the center of the four chains you will do a single crochet two chains and continue now with the same pattern that we did like we did before two chains a single crochet two chains and four double crochets in the center of the previous four double crochets so continue with this pattern until you get here when you get here do like we have been doing here two chains do two double crochets and then a double crochet on top of each then two double crochets two chains four double crochets and then 22 chains and then you will come and join here with a single crochet. So
so I meet you here. I have joined and this is how it looks like. Now we will continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. We will be turning this way again and we will do our four double crochets here in the center of the previous four double crochets. And then two chains and we will continue with the pattern that before for the lady two double crochets and a double crochet on top of each two double crochets two chains four double crochets two chains single crochet two chains four double crochets and we continue until the end here with the same procedure now this is how you actually look like now at this point you will continue now until we have four sets of these shells and here we have these three sets joined here then we have the second set we will have we need to have two more sets and then that's the when we'll be done with this part then we will change the color now i have done up to this level now in this last part of this double crochets we will increase by one i have done one double crochet then I have done double crochets and now one double crochet in total you should have 44 double crochets so two chains and continue with the pattern on this other side so continue the same way we did a single crochet there and two chains and four double crochets So continue until here and I will show you how we will do it when we are coming back because now we are finishing this part. Now you will do one chain and then turn this way so that the yarn is in front of you and you will slip stitch into the second double crochet. Then slip stitch into the next double crochet slip stitch into the next and then do a single crochet inside the two chain space then do three chains and then do a single crochet inside the next two chain space there and slip stitch into all the four double crochets you have on top slip stitch slip stitch slip stitch slip stitch a single crochet inside the two chain space there three chains single crochet inside the next two chain space and slip stitch into all the four double crochets like this and then continue until you get into this and then I'll show you how we will finish so after you have worked up to here we will now fasten off and cut yarn because now we are done with this first part We should have 12 shells here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and you should have here a set of three shells times four 1 2 3 4 take your new color of yarn this is my new color and I will join it into this two chain space join And tighten so that the yarn is tightly joined now I will do three chains one two three these three chains will count as my first double crochet here then I will do three double crochets one two three 
two, three. Then I will do four chains. One, two, three, four. And I will skip one, two, three, four, five, six. I will skip six double crochets. In the seventh double crochet, I will do four double crochets in the same space. One, two, three, four, like that. Then four chains, one, two, three, four, and then skip again six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. In the seventh double crochet, do four double crochet. One, two, three, four. So we need to do seven, and I have three. One, two, three. So we need to do four more, and then I'll meet you there and I'll show you what to do next. We will now do two chains and inside the two chain space we do two double crochets one two two chains and four double crochets in the center of the previous four double crochets one three now 22 chains and come and join into the double crochet here I'll meet you there then we will continue the pattern that we have been doing before so I have now done the 22 chains and I have joined with a single crochet and I've done the 22 chains again back and now I have done the four double crochets two chains Two double crochets inside the two chain space on top of the double crochets a double crochet each two double crochets inside the two chain space two chains and then we will continue like we have been doing four double crochets in the center of the previous four double crochets two chains and then a single crochet in the center of the four chain space two chains four double crochets in the center of the previous four double crochets I have done the 22 chains and joined with a single crochet and then 22 chains back and I have done this part now now we will continue like we have been doing and when we have done a set of three shells here one two three joint then we will begin the other set until we have one two three four and don't forget that when we get to the 12th part of the shell there we will here only increase by one like we increased here the last part of it we increased by one double crochet instead of two so that we have 44 double crochets also here at the end so I'll meet you at the end of this part and then we will continue from there we will change the color to this one this is how now it looks like we will now finish our second part we will just do a chain here and turn this way so that the yarn is facing you slip stitch into the second double crochet from the hook and then slip stitch into all the double crochets then a single crochet inside the two chain space then three chains single crochet in the next two chain space then slip stitch into all the double crochets here so continue then like we did the first part and then when we reach here we we'll slip stitch into this last double crochet we need to have 
four more of these parts so we now join this color the pink one here and we will continue like we have done this part now join your yarn into this two chain space like we did before so then three chains one two three then three double crochets in the same space then four chains one two three four then skip six double crochets in the seventh double crochet do four double crochets one two three four and then continue like this just like we did in this other part now continue working in this third part when you finish you cut yarn and join this color then continue again working until you have all these six parts done three with this color and three with this color and then i'll meet you at the end to show you how to join the doily now it is finished this is the sixth part that i've just done finished doing this is where we started the first part now i'll just go ahead and uh, hide all the yarn that i have hanging out i'll take my needle and do that all this yarn and then i'll come back and show you how to join this part now we will join this part with this part i've put markers where i will be joining the doily together now where we have been doing the four double crochets here at the two chain space we will join there and then we will leave six double crochets in the seventh double crochet we will join to this four double crochets we will join together and so on and then here where we have the we are leaving the two double crochets and the third double crochet we will join with this four double crochets and the two double crochets we will join them here at the two chain space and then we finish with the four double crochets and the four double crochets on this side i'll start joining from here and then i'll join this this part and this part And join. Set your needle and get your needle through. Then I will just go into the center of the chains and insert my needle and join and then the needle underneath so here is where I'm joining next my four double crochets Then I'll insert my needle underneath and get over to the center and then I will join the center part of the chain and the double crochets. Then I will go into the center and just insert my needle into the chain. And this way now, you just continue joining until you get to the end here. 